Hello and welcome to Daily Records and today's video is about a, a very popular album uh, credited to the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band but it's got several people on it. It's Will the Circle Be Unbroken from 1971, released in August of 1971 to be specific. But uh, this album was a great uh, collaboration. It's a triple album set and it featured a lot of uh, very, very popular bluegrass and country singers. Uh, among others, uh, Roy Acuff was involved, uh, Mother Maybell Carter, uh, Doc Watson, Earl Scruggs, Merle Travis, Pete Oswald Kirby, Norman Blake, Jimmy Martin. And another great thing about this album is that it introduced uh, G uh, the fiddler, uh, Vassar Clements. Uh, it brought him to it to a larger stage. And so uh, the title is taken from the very famous uh, hymn song uh, called Will the Circle Be Unbroken? And that song was made very popular by, uh, by the Carter family. There is uh, the Inner Sleeve, which is a uh, Rolling Stone write-up about the session. Uh, and like I said, a lot, a, lot, a lot of famous pickers and everybody were, were, were playing on this record. And pretty much all the all the tracks on here were first or second tapes. Uh, they were really just recorded live in the studio. Uh, and it's interesting that that the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band was kind of one of those country rock bands, and and you know long hair hippie type guys. Uh, and uh, as a matter of fact, Roy Acuff called them a bunch of long haired West Coast guys. Uh, and so they got around with these older players from the '40s and '50s. And, and brought back this sort of prime, old-timey music, what I call old-timey music, uh, and, and, and put them on tape and recorded these things. And uh, really just, uh, just, a, uh, just a fantastic spirit behind these songs and the recordings. You could tell that the, there's a lot of respect from the players in the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band to the older guys, uh, and it's just uh, it's just a real interesting interesting time. Now, another side note is that Doc Watson and Merle Travis uh, met for the first time on these sessions, and of course, uh, Doc Watson's son uh, Merle uh, was named after Merle Travis, so uh, Merle Watson. Now, one name that is notably absent from these sessions is uh, Bill Monroe, and for some reason, he did not want to participate in these recordings. Uh, I'm not sure why. Uh, because at no point, I, I don't think it, at any any moment during these sessions, the recordings uh, are disrespectful or, or show any lack of um, sort of just nothing but reverence, uh, complete and total reverence for these songs and the material and the people playing them. Uh, you can tell when Mother Maybell's in the room. It's just uh, there there is a feeling behind it that that. Anything that she does, we're gonna we're gonna do. Now it was followed up by two uh, sequels. There was a volume two as well as a volume three, uh, and they very similar thing. They brought in uh, different players. Eighty nine is when volume two came out, so it was several years later uh, when they when they tried to recreate the formula. But nothing beats the original. And um, as far as bluegrass and country music. This album is, is top-notch. Uh, it's a great quality, and there's a lot of really, really wonderful songs. So Will the Circle Be Unbroken, Volume 1 by the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band. It's today's daily record. Uh, tune in to my other channel, Tommy Burton's VC channel. There's a link up above in the description box. Uh, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. It's Tommy Burton 75 Like, subscribe, comment, share. I love interacting with you guys. In the meantime, I'll see you tomorrow with another daily record.